The government has reviewed the sentencing framework for hurt and sexual offences and will provide a ministerial statement at a later date. The update was given by Minister of State for Social and Family Development, uh, Sun Shui Ling, who co-chairs a comprehensive review of issues affecting women. We are cognizant of the fact that regardless the progress that Singapore women have made on many fronts, we must continue to guarantee the protection and well-being of our women and girls. Budget 2021 builds on continuing efforts to support women and their families by one, supporting women in caregiving, two, supporting vulnerable women, and three, supporting women in their career aspirations. Parliamentary Secretary for Health, Rahayu Mazam, who also co-chairs the review, so Singapore's budget measures have helped keep women in work, even in sectors hard hit by COVID-19, such as tourism and hospitality. Schemes like the household support package were also introduced to address women's concerns in taking care of their families. Ms. Rahayu said a budget debate should take into account the concerns of all women, as their interests are interlinked with the development of the nation. It is imperative for the budget to help navigate the people through these difficult times. Our women, like their male counterparts, are very much involved and vested in our economic recovery and social development. While we may not typically see the budget presented in a gender-centric fashion, the reality is that there are many aspects of this year's budget measures that benefit women. Several female MPs also called for more support for women caregivers, mainly to help them return to work. According to last year's Labour Force report, over 130,000 residents said caregiving responsibilities were the main reason why they left the workforce. 90% of them were women. We must provide career counselling, guidance and training for caregivers who would like to start or return to work, including part-time and flexi work. In addition to self-actualisation, work is important to one's sense of dignity and identity. Earned incomes contribute to household finances and retirement adequacies and improve the quality of life for their families. The need for women caregivers, reintegration, re-employment and retirement adequacy and their own health cannot be understated. I am glad to hear that the National Council of Social Service and SG Enable will form an alliance for action on support for caregivers for persons with disabilities. I would like to recommend for this alliance to expand to uh, women caregivers 